In today's defensive money play, I show you how to stop the fullback dive. Enjoy the video, guys. Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Wayne6578, bringing you guys another defensive money play. And today I'll be showing you how to stop that fullback dive. That fullback dive cheese, man. You're losing games because of this play. It's real easy to stop, guys. With minor setups, you can destroy this fullback dive. I'll go over it. I'll show you a few examples from the gameplay. And also, we'll just go over it in practice step by step. Real easy. The first thing you would like to do, first of all, the formation is out of the 3-4. I run this in the goal line, a 3-4 cover 3. That's the play we're going to be using to stop the fullback dive. But there's one thing you need to do. We will be utilizing our free safety to stop this play. So of course you want a guy that has great tackling, great acceleration, and great pursuit. So if we go into our roster, I'm using the Bears roster, but this can, this can translate to any team. These are the attributes you want for your strong, your free safety. So again, we're stopping this fullback dive. We want to use our free safety. So we want great tackling attributes, great hit power, and great pursuit. Acceleration is a plus. If they have great acceleration, that's even better. So his acceleration is 91. Great acceleration. So let's look at first who has great tackling. Because when you hit these fullbacks, man, some of these fullbacks, they can just run over you. It's like hitting a brick wall or a mat truck. So let's look who has great tackling. On trail roll, only 59. Harold Corti has 65, that's pretty decent. We really want someone up there around 70 and above. Look at our Monday, great tackling, 71. Uh, then we also have Prognoski, he's 72. And Jefferson, Jefferson is 72, okay? So with speed and acceleration, like I said, I didn't mention, but speed is a plus also. So let's go, right now, I'm looking at Jefferson. So then we go to hit power. Jefferson has an 85 hit power, which is outstanding. Next we have, um, let's see, Prognoski has a 67, that's okay. Mundy has an 85 hit power. Okay. Pursuit. We have Cordy 73, Fuller 81, Mundy 72. Great. Ball 77. Great. Let's see that Jefferson. Jefferson 80. So far, Jefferson is leading the pack. Let's go ahead and put Jefferson up there at our free set. Let's check those bonuses. So again, his speed is 85, that's great. His acceleration, 93, that's even better. Let's look at his hit power. Again, this is the guy we're gonna be using to stop this fullback dive. Hit power, 85. Pursuit, 80, great, great, great. Okay guys, let's just see what happens with this fullback dive when we just run it regular. We have Mike Tobert here. Pretty good fullback, man. Actually, it's like a actual halfback. They use him as a halfback on San Diego. But you see this fullback dive, man. This guy can just come on, get in there with that cheese, man. You really can't get in there uh, to stop it. And look at that. By the time you do get up there to stop it, he's in that end zone. Okay, so we're running this from two yards out. Again, just look at it. Just fullback cheese. Just oh, we actually stopped it right there. If you run this play, you can flip it. You can do all these things, man. Truck on into that end. Okay, real simple way to stop it with the three-four defense. You can do it this way. Just run commit up the middle, and when they call that play, you'll get back there and stop that play. Okay, again, real simple way. You can just run commit. I don't like run committing because sometimes when they do pass that ball, your tight end is wide open or you can have a drag route or slant route. What I like doing is I take that, that free safety that we got, we got Jefferson, and I just re-blitz him. I just re-blitz him and I move him down a little bit and kind of over to the right. So I put him about right here. Again, everything is about sweet spots. 
And this guy will come through and look at that. Oh God, he still got in there. So again, if, if you don't want to run commit, the other simple way to do it is just re-blitz that strong safety. And you pull him down and scoot him over a little bit right there, like right in that spot. Now he'll come through and he'll smack that full back in his Real simple, one step set up. You don't have to do any run committing or anything, just re-blitz that guy and let him do the work. Now sometimes if you don't put him in the right position, he'll go to the uh, left. Pretty much, you get him in the right position, re-blitz, he'll get back there and smack that guy in his face. Now again, man, you have to have great tackling, great acceleration, and good hit stick power, man. See, because you want like you want that to happen. So if you don't got a guy back there that can do good tackling, that fullback, he'll get through. He'll get through, but you want it to happen just like that. You smack that guy in his face. Real easy setup, man. Look at this money play right here. No crash in the line, no re-blitzing linebackers and all that and it even works if they um if they pass protect so let's max protect so right now we're going to max protect and just max protect it real easy set re-blitz pull him down a little bit let him do the work max protect and we still smacking this guy in the backfield check out this money play guys real easy setup okay let's let's block Let's pass protect, let's slide right. Let's slide that line to the right and see what happens. We're just gonna re-blitz that guy. Move him down a little bit. Let him do the work. Let him do the work. Smack that fool back in his face. And you still, you're not pass committing, you're not run committing. Like I said, you can run commit to stop that fullback dive from this formation. Uh, but I don't like um, pass committing because and see, that's right there. I don't like pass committing, first of all, because you take away from that, if he does have that tight end going out or slant routes, you want those zones to jump out there. But this is uh, what I was going to say. If you put that guy in the wrong position, when that fullback runs, he'll run to the left. And that's what you don't want. So you want to get into that practice mode, man, and practice these plays. Everything is about sweet spots, just like that video I have out about the um, how to stop the QB sneak. It's a sweet spot, so you find that sweet spot, and that guy will run right down there and run into that fullback. You don't want to come down too far, because I'll show you what happens when you come down too far. If you come down too far, that guy just runs to the left. I don't know why he does that. But you want to keep him back far enough and to the right a little bit, like right about there. Re-blitz him and let him come in and make that tackle, man. So, like I said, man, you can either run commit, let's run commit, we're run committing this time. And we're going to re-blitz that guy. And we'll see what happens. We'll get back there and we'll destroy it. But again, if he's passing the ball, I don't like to do that. Just in case he's passing. If he's not passing, we find that sweet spot, re-blitz that strong, that free safety, and let him smack him in his face. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip, man. Utilize this to stop these guys one by one. It's your boy, Wayne6578, and I am out. Following the run. One last play before the quarter ends. Takes it out of the eye. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. In today's money defensive play, I teach you how to stop the dreaded QB sneak. What's up, YouTube? 